Are you prepared for bartering after an SHTF event? Most preppers view bartering as something that will be essential moving forward after any sort of SHTF event. Now being a prepper, we obviously try to plan for most things, but inevitably we'll get caught short on something. We'll run out of something that we need, right when we need it, and after an event it won't be available in the stores. The only way to obtain it will be to get it from somebody else if they have one available. It could be anything, it could be pain medication, it could be something to eat, it could be some diapers for your child, it could be anything at all, anything you could think of. So with that in mind, most preppers like to put things to one side, ready for such a time where they perhaps need to exchange something for something that they don't have. For my personal situation, our level of preps is not at the stage where we think, right, we've got everything that we need, we can start storing items for bartering. However, with that in mind, I've just had a, a little look around what we do have, and I've got some items that could be used in a barter situation, just to give people ideas, and it may make them think, oh, actually, I could get some extra of those, or, oh, I'd never thought about that, or, or, or whatever. Now, one of the most important things that I think people will run out of is medication and hygiene products. So, we've got some basics. Paracetamol, acetaminophen, if you're in the US. Um, infant paracetamol as well, so in the liquid form. Anti-diarrhea tablets. Medicated cream, muscle rub, moisturizer cough sweets, feminine hygiene products. All of these items here are relatively cheap. I, I don't think anything costs more than two pounds uh, British money, around about $2.50 in the US. I think perhaps the most expensive thing would be the, the branded items, but even then you'd be able to get unbranded items for that. But like I say, if you imagine your, an event's happened and your child is teething, they're in absolute agony, uh, you know, in, in, having some paracetamol to give them, you know, just to ease the pain, or, or yourself, you know, any paracetamol to give yourself. You know what it's like when you're in pain and you, you've got nothing to help. It, you get desperate, you do pretty much anything. Again, same as if you have diarrhea, you know, it, it's, it's not pleasant, it's a fact of life, but also diarrhea can lead to dangerous complications you know when you get dehydrated and, and whatnot. Same as feminine hygiene products. While the British government class them as a luxury item, a lot of ladies would say they're pretty essential. I know you can get reusable menstrual cups and, and whatnot, but in an emergency if you're caught short, having some spare ones on hand to be able to, to exchange for whatever else that you need, let's say you need the paracetamol and you have these and the person who has the paracetamol doesn't have these but wants to swap you know it's it's perfect they go there they go there everybody's happy everyone's a winner so that's health and medical items what's next so food items you know we've got ramen noodles you get five in a, a pack here one pound so 20p each, you take them out and you have individual items. Rather than trading the whole packet, you could trade one item. A couple of those would be a, the, the start of a, a basic meal for for some people. You know, you've got a cup of soups. These are the branded versions, so they're a little bit more expensive, but you can also get the supermarket own brand. You can get them for less than one pound per box. Pasta, everyone has pasta, same as rice, you know. You can pick those up for around about 50p in the supermarket, just for their own brands. Pasta is pasta. If it's rice, rice is rice. You know, it's it's food, it's calories, it gives you what you need. So then we move on to fire starting and lighting equipment. Again, these are just cheap products. Two large boxes of matches. These cost less than one pound per pack. We've got a couple of packets of those. So for 
four boxes of matches. You know, you could trade a full box, you could trade half a box with somebody. Matches, they are what they are. <laughs> Same as lighters, you know, you've got the, the refillable regular cigarette lighter, or you've got the slightly longer reach. This one is not refillable, it's a disposable one, but this one you can refill it if you have the gas canisters. Again, that could be something else that you could store. You could store the gas canisters, and as part of your barter service, you could refill people's lighters. On to emergency lighting. These came from our British one pound store. It's the equivalent to a dollar, dollar store in America. You have the, the basic LED light, and then obviously AAA batteries to make the lights work. Cut the pack in half, you have enough batteries for each light, you know. You have one light plus some batteries. Surely that's worth something to some people. Tea and coffee items. You know what it's like when you wake up. Sometimes you just need a pick-me-up, whether you drink tea or you drink coffee. Sometimes we all need it in the morning. Now imagine if you wake up and it's not available. <laughs> what would you do for a cup of coffee some days? You know, I know personally, I drink two cups of coffee before I even start work in the mornings. And then I drink a few cups through the day. I don't even want to think what I would be like if I didn't have the coffee early in the morning when I start work. You can buy these packs from the, the stores. This is a, a budget brand from the one pound store. Literally, it costs a pound. There is 10 sachets inside. I'll just quickly open them up. Yeah, 10 little sachets inside. Roast coffee, three in one. So these have coffee, sugar, and whitener inside of it, milk powder. These ones here are slightly more expensive. These are a branded version, Nescaf. I, I don't know if they have Nescaf in America or elsewhere, but in the UK, it's it's the coffee that I drink in the UK. Again, these are two in one, so these have coffee and powdered milk inside of it. These do not have sugar inside of it. If you're a bit fancy and you want something like a cappuccino or a latte, you can buy, buy these ones from the supermarket. Um, this one is an unsweetened cappuccino. You know, just add it to oh, hot water. All of these items are just add to hot water. You, you get a pack of maybe 10, 8 or 10 for around about two pounds. And if you stay in hotels, they often have Little complimentary items, teas and coffees. As you check out, just um, remove them. <laughs> That's what I do for these ones. You've got uh, coffee, two coffees, four decaf coffees and, and two, two English tea bags. You know, you pay a fortune to stay in hotel rooms nowadays. Why not take the, take the little freebies? Booze, alcohol, sometimes you just want a drink after after a bit of stress or, or whatever. Sometimes you're in, in pain. I remember once when I had toothache, I was drinking rum straight from the bottle to, to numb the pain until I could get to see the dentist the next day. If an event has happened and God forbid, you know, you, you've suffered some sort of trauma or you've lost a loved one or whatever, you know, it can be used literally to numb the pain of, of losing them as well, you know. People turn to alcohol for all sorts of reasons. And if you have some set aside as a, a barter item, who knows what you could get for it. I've just raided my wife's alcohol stash for this, um, with the exception of the room, that's mine. But personally, I wouldn't be storing the, the large bottles like this, the one litre bottles. Sorry, it's it's not one litre, it's, it's 700 millilitres, 70 cl. So, but I wouldn't store the, the larger bottles like this. You know, that's that's a lot of lot of alcohol. It'd be a very valuable item to give away. Even then, it, this one here cost 18 pounds. I, I don't know, maybe it's about 23, 24 dollars US. You know, for, for to give that whole bottle of gin away, you would want something quite substantial in return. Far better to get the, the half size bottles or even the smaller bottles again, or the, the miniature bottles, you know, some, that one there, a couple of shots of vodka in it, you know, it, it might just be enough to take the edge off whatever 
the person needs for needs it for. On to wine, again, I mean, a full bottle of wine, I know it's the same sort of size and I'm saying don't, you don't want to carry it around, but a bottle of wine, you can get them for three, four, five pounds, you know, you can, for the price of one of these, you'll get three, possibly even four, four bottles of wine. Or alternatively, you can get the, the quarter bottles of wine. These cost, I've just purchased these today for the for this video. These cost me one pound 60 each, round about two dollars, you know, but it'd be enough just to, to stick in your pocket if you were going to a, a bar to meet. And finally, any other little luxuries? Chocolate, you know, everybody loves chocolate. Whoever says they don't like chocolate, I would say they're probably lying. But, but the good thing about chocolate is they're absolutely full of sugar, so they'll last forever. You get these ones here from Aldi here in the UK. You get five bars, it's dark chocolate. You get five bars for around about two pounds. These ones here again, the the thinner dairy milk bars. So these are milk chocolate rather than dark chocolate. You get around about eight or so for the same price as you, you get for the, the Aldi ones. But for somebody who's just craving that little sweetness or, or whatever, it's, it's a cheap item. Buy a few of them, put them to one side. They'll literally last forever. So I hope this video has been useful to you. If you've got any comments, please leave them below. Any items that you think would be useful for bartering, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. And also if you've enjoyed the video but you're not yet a subscriber, please could I ask if you would press the subscribe button and also the bell notification, lets you know when I release more videos. If you subscribe, it just tells me that you've enjoyed the video and also it helps this channel grow. It helps the YouTube algorithm promote my videos to more like-minded people such as yourself and myself. And it lets me know that you want to see them so I can continue making videos on a prepping subject. So we'll leave this video here. I'll say thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and bye for now.